What's going on, people? You know what? I was sitting there thinking about this whole coronavirus thing. And the thought dawned on me that thinking back to December. Now, if you guys remember, back in December, I made a video. And in that video, I was talking about different diseases and viruses that were coming upon the earth and diseases that the government was probably in a way preparing people for. But there's so much that's going on, so many distractions. And I think the hatred of Trump is a form of distraction. That's how the media and the Democrat demons keep you distracted. If there's an enemy out there and the media conditions you to always rail against that, that enemy, then that's their opportunity to do things in the background, things that you would not normally pay attention to. And one of those things is the coronavirus. Now, I saw on Facebook uh, just a few minutes ago where someone had posted um, an image of a newspaper when Kobe Bryant was killed and his daughter right next to the news article where Kobe Bryant and his daughter was killed in that chopper crash. They had that they were trying to develop uh, a drug that would take care of the coronavirus. The coronavirus was also a part of that article. Now, I don't know if that's a fluke or not, but it looks like uh, a, a legitimate um, article. But back in December, I made a video talking about the different viruses that were coming and how they were predicting so many people we're going to die. Now, it's always been a thought of mine. How do you know that that virus is going to take out so many people? And not just the coronavirus, but there's other viruses that's going to follow that. And I'm going to put a link to that video on the bottom and you guys can go back. Now, in that video, I had just, I was in the process of getting over a sickness. Now, I don't usually get sick. I have a I have an extremely strong immune system. And it's not too often that I get sick. You know, I may get a sniffles every now and then or a cough or a sore throat, but not to the level of the sickness I had back in December, which almost took me out. To be honest with you because there's some things I just didn't mention, right? But that virus flu cold whatever it was, almost took me out because I had gotten so sick back in December. And in that video that I post on the bottom, you guys just heard the last end of it, like where I could hardly speak. My voice was really extremely hoarse, right, from that sickness. And it was a whole lot worse than that. But I came down with some type of flu or virus and I had gotten so sick, I could not get out of bed. Um, I was in the, I was, I was in the, in the bed, the heat was on, I was under the covers and I was shaking. I had the chills. Um, my throat was sore. Um, just everything headache. I mean, I had a terrible headache and I recall getting up, going to the bathroom. It had to be like, it was after 12 o'clock midnight. It had to be around three o'clock, man. And I went. And I got, I went to the bathroom because there was a lot of diarrhea, all this. I mean, it was, it was awful. And even after that, I had to ask, like, what was that? And I went to the bathroom uh, to do business. And I was so sick. I felt so sick. I couldn't even sit on the stool, man. Next thing you know, I ended up on the bathroom floor. I don't know how long I was out. I don't know. All I know is I was I was sitting there and I got so sick, so nauseated that I ended up on the bathroom floor. I just laid on the bathroom floor. 
And then before you realize it, I'm waking up and I'm like, what am I doing on the floor? I had no idea. I'm sitting there and, and I must have passed out. I don't know if I passed out, went to sleep, what. But I ended up on the bathroom floor and I was out for a great while. And when I woke up, I'm laying on the bathroom floor butt naked, right? Well, I had my clothes on, but um, I was just on the floor. I was just that sick. And I couldn't get up. I couldn't walk. I came in here and I was going to sit down and try to make a video, but I couldn't even sit up. I was so sick. So when this coronavirus thing came into the light, because it's been there since last year, I'm going to say October because that's when I posted that article on the WordPress page was back in October of 2019. And I spoke on this in December. And when I spoke on it, my voice was like, and if you look at me in that video, if you look at that video, I mean, I had lost so much weight. You could see like around my neck, my shoulder area. I had lost so much weight. Um, I was dark around the face, around the eyes. I couldn't speak and I was extremely weak. And when I went to um, prop care, they had given me uh, a Z pack, right? Cause they give you the Z pack after you try everything and it don't work, they give you the Z pack. And so they gave me that Z pack, man. And it, 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 it did, it did some work, but it just didn't do it all. And when I, when I made that video, I had already finished that Z pack. So, um, this, this, the remnants was still there. I couldn't hardly speak. And, um, even after I made that video, I had to go get back into bed. But I was out of commission for about, what, two or three weeks, you know? Now, thinking back on that, thinking back on that, I'm thinking that was the coronavirus, man. I'm thinking that was the coronavirus, but they could not test me for that because it had not come to light yet, okay? There's people that knew about it because we heard in the news that there's some, like, uh, Republicans and Democrats that knew about it and they sold their stocks. You know, they made they knew something was coming, but they sold their stocks. They looked out for number one, right? So I had gotten so sick now thinking about it, I'm thinking that was that coronavirus, you know, and I had mentioned it to one of the nurses at the VA and she was asking me questions, man, and I'm like, yeah, she said, did you have uh, difficulty breathing? And I mean, my upper respiratory was so horrible, man. I mean, I think they wrote it on that paper that I came home with. And, but it's like, I had, she's like, you know, she said that what they're doing is people that had a strong immune system that was able to fight that off. Um, they're using their plasma to help other people. Right. And I'm like, really? She said, yeah. She said, they, they, they're using people that have strong immune system using their plasma to try to help other people that um that got that coronavirus but it was horrible and I could have died man I could have died I I laid on that floor and next thing you know I'm waking up but but all hanging out I'm just I'm on the bathroom floor the filthiest place in the house the bathroom I don't care how you how you clean your bathroom how clean it is that's a filthy place, but when you when you are when you that when you're that sick to the point where you can't even sit up on the stool, and I remember just just bending over like this, and I'm on the floor. That's all I remember. Next thing you know, I'm waking up off the floor, right? And I'm thinking back on that, and I'm thinking that more than likely from what I hear and the symptoms. That was the coronavirus, man. So I can say I had that coronavirus. I'm going to say that's what that was. That was the coronavirus that I contracted back in, that I got back in, um, back in December, you know, and I'm going to put the link to that video on the bottom and it's talking about these different viruses that's coming through. But if that's the coronavirus, man, that's vicious. That is vicious. I'm telling you, it's vicious because I told, um, Somebody at the VA, I'm like, what was that? When I started getting better, I said, like, I had no idea what that was. That came through like a storm. Didn't even expect that. It took me out of commission, man. It took me out of business. That was horrible. And to be honest, I would never, ever, ever want to ever experience that again. I would never. And... um 
All praises to the Most High, man, that my immune system was strong enough to fight that thing, man. You know, and the Z-Pack. <laughs> that Z-Pack, man, and, and my immune system was so strong, it fought that. But just think if I had some underlying health issues. I'm in good shape. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't do drugs. I don't do any of that stuff, man. So, and I try to eat right, but I got some weaknesses like cheese and uh, sweet tea. I got a whole stack of. But anyway, I ain't gonna get into that. But other than that, man, I have a I have a pretty good, I have a pretty strong immune system, man, and that could have taken me out, and I didn't even know it. So when you hear people, they say somebody died of the flu. Um, this might have been what they call the coronavirus, man, because I've never, ever experienced anything like that in my life. So now thinking back on that and all the information that I'm reading that the VA gives us about the coronavirus and I'm reading this information, that's what that was. You know, that is what that was, man. And there were other people that were around me that caught that. They got the same thing, man. Headaches, man. I mean, it's awful. It was awful. It could have just taken me out of here. And if my family had it came in, they would have found me right there, butt hanging out on the bathroom floor, out. I don't know how long I was out. I don't know. I, all I know is I was just so sick, I couldn't sit up. It was awful. And if you listen to that video, you can hear it. I'm just now getting over it. In that video, I'm just getting over it. But you can still hear the remnants in my voice. So if that's the coronavirus, what I had back in December, if that's what that was, that's no joke. That is no joke at all. No joke at all. And and I think the most high that my immune system was strong enough to fight that joker, man. That was something else. That was a monster. That was a monster right there. I mean, when you see pictures of people that's in the hospital and they face all messed up and they got them tools through their nose. That's real. That ain't fake, man. They ain't paying nobody to do that. You know, I was not paid to be sick, <laughs> to be honest. But if that was the coronavirus, man, that's no joke. You don't play with that. And they say once you get it, they say once you get it, your immune system, you, you, you're now, you won't get it again, you know. So, but the nurse at the VA was telling me, she said, if that's the case, she said, you know, she said, there's a way, she said, there's a way they could test you to find out if you had it already. And I think I might do that. You know, they can test you to see if you had it. And they said, if you had it, they, they can use your plasma to try to help other people. Right. I don't know about that, though. I don't know about that. But anyway, but if that's, if that was the coronavirus I had, oh, that's, it's brutal. It is brutal because I could have actually, I could have died and nobody knew about it. That's just how sick. Now my my family knew I was sick, but I couldn't even I couldn't even sit up in the bed. I was so sick. That's how sick I was, man. I was it was and I was freezing. I had the heat cranked up in the house. Everybody else was burning up. I had the heat cranked up in the house, and I'm still under the cover. I had I got a weighted blanket. I had that thing over me, and I'm like just shivering. And that in the shiver, it's like it, you could feel it in your bones, man. It's like that shiver is going through your bones. It's right right at your bones man you just just shivering just chills i had the chills man i was headache and just i could not sit up i was so sick could not sit up and i lost so much weight in that short period of time i lost so much weight man and but when i woke up off that floor i'm like thinking to myself like how did i get down here right and i got up and got back in the bed <laughs> But, that, but that's where I was, man. So if that was the coronavirus, if that was the coronavirus, it's a monster. It's a monster, and you need to protect yourself from getting that. You know, so I just thought I had to make the video and share that, man, because it's no joke. It's no joke. I still, listen, I take my black seed oil. Let's see if I got it here. As a matter of fact, the bottle's empty. I probably threw it away. I have to get me another bottle. But that black seed oil is gone. I took the last bit a couple of days ago. But I have to get another bottle of the black seed oil. But uh, but yeah, black seed oil, uh, vitamin C. Um, drink a lot of fluids, man. A lot of fluids. And I always wash my hands anyway. Nobody nobody ever have to tell me to wash my hands. I'm, I'm a pretty tidy person myself. So they don't really need to tell me to wash my hands, right? 
but it's a monster. That coronavirus, if that's what it was, what I had back in, de in December, that's a monster. That thing is a monster. It's no joke at all. I could have actually left this planet, man, right on the bathroom floor with my butt hanging out. Right? And nobody would have known until they found me. Right? But it's no joke. So, feedback. Tell me what you think. Subscribe. Until next time. It's tight, but it's right.